What is going on, Rockers? Welcome to Rocking with Robbie. The moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. New Breaking Benjamin music, brand new song called Awaken is here. It's upon us. Now, if you're new to the channel, Breaking Benjamin has been my favorite band since I was a little kid. The first Breaking Benjamin song I heard was Unknown Soldier, and ever since then, I fell in love with this band. I make videos about them all the time. They're what inspired me to make this YouTube channel. So to say that I'm excited about this new track is an understatement. I know the community is all coming together right now, incredibly stoked for this brand new track, and I'm excited to film this video for you guys and share my reaction for the brand new Breaking Benjamin song, Awake. So make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, and let's go ahead and listen to a brand new Breaking Benjamin song. No music video yet. If they put one out, I'll film another video about the music video. But for now, let's listen to the track. Sounds pretty heavy so far. Okay. Faded out of breath, life falls to gray. Hope of the hopeless and I pray with the I like the vibe of the verses. That's building up a little bit. There it is. Okay. Ooh. Oh. That scream was crazy. Oh my god. That chorus, like. <laughs> that like blew me away. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm transcending. Oh my gosh. I'm about to start levitating off my chair. Oh, that part right there. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh, fanboying so hard right now. This chorus is absolutely beautiful sounding. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say, man. Oh, we've heard this part. This was the sample. Crunchy, dude. Guys, what am I supposed to say to this? Come on, <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my gosh. This chorus is stunning. It's like absolutely beautiful sounding. That scream is crazy, dude. <laughs> Dude, I'm like giggling right now. <laughs> Ooh. That's heavy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> I don't... Dude, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Where do I start? Okay. Uh, the song is awesome. Clearly. <laughs> I mean, it sounds insane. There's something about it. It's like the chorus sounds absolutely beautiful, but it's massive sounding. And the song is aggressive, but it's very melodic. It's It has a lot of different components to it. Um, and it sounds very unique to me. I mean, it sounds like Breaking Benjamin for sure. It has that 
uh, more modern anthemic quality that a lot of these newer Breaking Benjamin songs have. But I don't know, man. I mean, that sounded way different than anything off of Ember. Just the absolutely massive soaring chorus reminded me a little bit more of maybe some of their previous works like Dark Before Dawn more so than Ember, but then the, the heavier breakdowns on the track where the guitars were really, you know, tuned low and they sounded crunchy and heavy. That reminded me a little bit more of Ember. So maybe if you combine Dark Before Dawn with Ember a little bit, this is what you get. Uh, but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of new stuff on this as well. Like those really high pitched screams were crazy sounding. I didn't know Ben could scream like that. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, at least I think that's Ben. I know they have kind of like multiple vocalists in the band now, but uh, wow, those high pitched screams really carried a lot of intensity. I'm, I'm used to his lower screams, which you hear on this song uh, during the bridge when he screams Arise, which is uh, the teaser they put out before the song came out. So I was familiar with that part. Um, I'm used to his more like guttural low screams. I haven't really heard him scream like that, like that really elongated, like high pitched scream at the end of the chorus was like, <laughs> I didn't even know what to say about that. That blew me away. Um, the song just sonically sounds so cool. There's something about it. The chorus has this kind of triumphant feel to it where it's very inspiring feeling, but there's also a direness to the track, which I like. So it kind of has a nice contrast between those two elements. Uh, it's definitely a Breaking Benjamin song. I, I've heard I heard some lyrics during the track that I feel like I've heard in other songs. Uh, maybe if I could find the lyrics, we can get a little bit more into that. I don't know if they're posted online yet um, because I don't want to misquote the song or anything. But from a sonic perspective, from a mixing perspective as well, I thought the song sounded really good. Like the production on the track sounded fantastic. And I just love the way the song sounds. The verses are a little bit more mellow and methodical, but the chorus is absolutely like larger than life. Uh, this is going to be a great song to perform for the large arenas that they tend to tour at. Uh, and that's probably why, why they're writing some music like this. But although it is like an anthemic rock track, I do feel like there is a good amount of emotion on this song that comes through, which is really cool. It's not just an absolute run-in-the-mill kind of like arena rock track. It has a lot of heart to it, which I really appreciate. And I really feel like Ben pushed his vocals really far on this track, like more so than most Breaking Benjamin songs, which is very exciting. And I feel like they push themselves musically way further than most Breaking Benjamin songs. Uh, with the crazy guitar shredding during the bridge and just the instrumental in general, how heavy it can get. Uh, I really feel like they're pushing their sound in a lot of ways, which is very refreshing, to be honest, and a little bit unexpected. Um, but it's definitely making me excited for this new album. I can't wait to hear more songs. This song just sounded so good, and it just made me a little emotional listening to it. I, I won't lie. There's something about it where when that chorus kicks in, it just kind of... You know, you feel a little breathless. You're like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what's happening? I'm getting that feeling in my soul when I connect to music. So that was just, that was a fun experience. And, uh, you know, I'm going to have this one on repeat, guys. You know I am. This one is feeling nice. <laughs> it's feeling good. It's a very different single from Red Cold River as well, which is cool. Red Cold River was more of like, uh, you know, cool workout, really heavy rock track. And this one's also a heavy rock track, but there's a lot of emotion on this one. I feel like Ben was wearing his heart on his sleeve a little bit, which I appreciate. So, song is a massive success, in my opinion. I loved it. So I did find a website that had some of the lyrics. Uh, I won't go over all of them with you, but I do think that there are some phrases, terminology, words on this track that definitely hearken to other Breaking Benjamin songs, so that's going to be maybe a caveat for some people. It didn't really detract from the song for me because the emotional feel of the song was enough to carry me through, but it's definitely noticeable to an extent. So if there is one criticism you could levy at the song, I think it's that uh, lyrically there are 
a lot of phrases, words, terminology that's used in other Breaking Benjamin songs. So for some people that might feel a little bit recycled. And to an extent, I think it probably is, but I also think that Breaking Benjamin has a very like specific niche that they like to tackle with their music. And their music is angsty to an extent. That's why I think a lot of us emotionally connect with it because it has that angst, it has that emotion. Uh, so with that, I think there's descriptive words that they like to put in their music. Uh, and sometimes they'll use those descriptive words or phrases in multiple songs that you can kind of use uh, as examples. I do think that that's fair to bring up with this track. I do think that could be uh, a slight caveat for some fans of Breaking Benjamin, but maybe not. I'm not sure. It's not really affecting my personal opinion on the song too much. I love the track. I think it sounds absolutely gorgeous. It just sounds beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to listen to it more. I want to know what you guys think of the song down in the comments below. Do you love it? Do you not like it? Let me know all of your thoughts. Are you excited for Breaking Benjamin's next album? It's officially happening, guys. We're in that territory where we get to talk about Breaking Benjamin on a regular basis. So you're going to want to stay tuned to the channel. I'll make more Breaking Benjamin videos for you guys. I really appreciate all the support you've been giving the channel. It means the world to me. If you want to support it, give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, notifications bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on!